condo hotel or Airbnb. Which option is better for your property when you buy in the Riviera Maya? Hey everyone, my name is Lev. I'm the co-founder of the Elements Real Estate Group. If you're in the market and you need a little bit of guidance, make sure that you click on the buyer's guide below. It's free and it's designed specifically for our American and Canadian investors. Now let's get to it. The biggest question I get asked is, what is a condo hotel? and what is included in the Airbnb property management company. In this video, I'm gonna break down to you exactly what the advantages are and disadvantages are of both. One is not better than the other. They just serve a different purpose. Let's start with Airbnb. An Airbnb property allows you to have a lot of control over your property, which means that you'll be able to have the decor that you select in there. You'll be able to decide what needs to get changed, what needs to get upgraded. You'll also be able to discuss pricing with your property management company. And a lot of these property management companies include most of the services in their fee. So what that means at the end of the day is you run your business from Canada and they are always in touch with you when something needs to be changed or upgraded. What is the downside of an Airbnb? Well, your Airbnb is only responsible for your guests. What I mean by that is if you have guests and occupancy, you make money. If your unit doesn't rent for, let's say, 40% of the time, well, you will only earn 60% of the income. So that's something to keep in mind. Condo hotel. A condo hotel is a very new term here that's been gaining quite a bit of traction. And the reason being is when you buy in a property that is a condo hotel, it creates more of of a experience for your guests, a hotel experience. What that means is that they decide what furniture goes in there, they decide what cutlery goes in there, they decide if that particular unit is rented or not. All of the funds from the developments will go into a pool and then divvy up after expenses to the owners. So if your unit doesn't rent, but all the other ones do, you still generate an income. Now, what the downside is with a condo hotel is that you have no say about the development. You can't decide what furniture you want to put in. You can't decide what price you want to rate it at. You can decide other little things as well because it is operated like a hotel. So there you have it, guys. If you want more information on which type of management is better for your property, make sure you click on the buyer's guide below and me and my team would love to help you out. On top of that, check out our other videos in the link above.